Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Maple Story Race Level 250. I am of course God of Monkey and this is also Monkey Samurai. So today is going to be a different episode because as most of my episodes are normally live commentating, I'm not live commentating today. I am actually talking about the newest update which is UNI Part 1. Now it was on the 4th so I think... Yeah, the 4th, but um, unfortunately I couldn't record anything then because I had a little bit of a cold. Well, when I say a little bit, it was quite a bad cold in considering the way I was talking and things. And I've still got it, so if my voice is a little bit weird, I've also got a sore throat. So hopefully that don't affect this video too much. But I needed to get this out for Monday. Today is Saturday, um, but I need to do some things tomorrow. So this is the only day I could record it, so... I'll Again, I apologise if I sound a little bit more different or if my words don't come out properly or I feel a bit bunged up. So, anyway, moving on. In this, we're going to try to do it in 15 minutes. Hopefully, maybe even less, but hope I'm hoping that the gameplay is going to show quite a lot of levelling. Because I'm recording gameplay after, funny enough. Because it will work out easier for me. So anyway, into the video. This can be found at um, maplestory.com. Well, nexoneu.com. I will leave a link in the description for this actual page that I'm reading off. Like, that I'm getting all these things from. But it is the whole rundown of the update. And the update was quite a big update considering what it contains which is pretty pretty and pretty good so there's a new combat system update which is an elite mon the first thing is the elite monster system so when un hunting monsters there's a chance that an elite monster will be summoned elite monsters are twice as big and have more health and strength um um, I haven't really jumped on and played it properly and I ain't seen the Elite Monster, but by the sounds of it, they're going to be similar to what you have been fighting. So if you're fighting a Mushroom, an Elite Mushroom's going to come. Maybe. I'm not too sure. So, after defeating multiple Elite Monsters, there's a chance that a boss, an Elite Boss will appear. And when the Elite Boss appear, the map will transform and all other monsters will disappear. So, it will literally just be you and the elite boss just battling it out, which will be epic. Um, so, once you've defeated the elite boss, the map, no, the, map, the map will again transform into a bonus stage where everyone in the map can join in to receive a ver variety of rewards. So, what I'm picking up from that is like, if any, like when we done the Mushroom Kingdom that time quite a while back now when we were like level 30 when we were taking on that big thing even though it's a party quest but what I can gather is that it's going to probably drop things like that dropped I'm not too sure it probably won't I'm like I ain't played the elite boss yet I'm just thinking what I'm think like what I think might happen so number two is item upgrading so scrolls will stop dropping from monsters as the new scrolling system will be in effect. A new item called the Spell Trace will now drop to monsters globally. All players level 20 and above can use Spell Trace to enhance their equipment. So you're basically getting different things from monsters to upgrade your own equipment that you've already got. This will probably save you lots of money but it will probably also need quite a lot of time to defeat them and you have to be level 20 or above so if you're level 10 and wondering why you're not getting this this is why so there's only one different thing in the community revamp and that's just account buddy system so the account buddy system registers your friends on an account level which ain't that big compared to what else we've got to talk about so equipment update Several pieces of equipment with level 100 or below now have been set bonuses. The set effects are based on 20 level intervals. Dropped items now have a special effect to show the rank of the potential. And Maplers can now 
see the rank of an item's potential without having to identify it. Normally, you have to identify it to see all these things. No, you don't. So, content revamp. There is now a rune system. Now, what is this rune system? I have no idea because I ain't played this. This is, again, off the notes that I'll have in the description below. So, the rune system has now been updated. No, it has now been added. It's not an update. It is literally there. So, after a certain period of time, runes will spawn in maps. Four types of runes are available. Input command will be displayed on the screen. Maples have 10 seconds to press the keys in sequence shown. Runes have a variety of effects, but one they have in common is that they will all they will give you double XP for two minutes, which will be nice to have, I guess. That will help us with training. So hopefully in this video we get some runes. Um I think when I jumped on literally for about 10 minutes when this updated first. I think I saw a couple, but obviously I didn't know what they were properly because I only just had a quick read through the notes. So you'll hopefully see some of you. Hopefully, I'm going to try and I will definitely try to get most of these things that I'm talking about in the video, which will be good so you can see what I'm doing. So, damage effects display. The display of damage effects have now been changed. In the options, you can choose between the existing and the new damage effects. In this video, I'll have the new ones on so you can see what they are. And whether I like it or not depends if I'm going to stay like it or not. So, combo kill and multi-kill system. When you kill three or more monsters with one skill, it counts as a multi-skill. When you kill many monsters in a row, it counts as combo kills. Based on your kill streaks, you will receive bonuses, bonus experience from monsters. So this is going to be a nice way, f hope by the looks of it, you're going to level up faster. So if you're getting bored of Maple Story and things, give it another go because you might be able to level up faster and things. Because once you get to a certain level, like I am now, it's starting to get a little bit longer to level up. Not too longer. Um, it's going to get worse when we get into the 100 stage and stuff. So I'm not too bad, but it gets hard to level up. So they're bringing in new ways, I think, to make it more interesting, make it more fun, and level up faster. So there is, this is mainly for like the new kind of pe people, or people that don't really know what they're doing with the game, or where to go, or what quest to do. So the Maple tutorial has now been ad has been added. It is available for Maplers level ten to one hundred and forty. So if you're one hundred and forty, you will not get it, and it will. Display recommended quests, maps, and content based on your level. So if you're level 10, it's going to base it on that. If it's level 50, you're going to base it on that. If you're level 140, it will base it on that. It's pretty self-explanatory. So quests recommended by the tutorial can automatically be started, and you can also teleport to any recommended maps or content instantly. So that will be handy, especially for me, because now I can do the quests that I think are going to be good in things, and I'll have a look at the quest menu just to like see. So I want to start covering more quests because that's not what we've been doing in this series. We've been training a lot and that wasn't what it was. It was obviously meant to be a race to level 250 but I did want to do some, some kind of quests. So inner ability updates. So this is like all the stats and things. Honor level has now been deleted and honor XP has been reset including any honor XP that was previously accumulated. Characters level 30 plus will get 500 honor XP for each level, which is pretty good. That, that works out quite a lot of honor. You can gain a certain amount of honor XP when you see when you use the Medal of Honor. That's a good game. I've got Medal of Honor. Jokes. Oh, I thought I weren't recording and I nearly cried. Right, so, where are we up to? Oh, wow, it's been nine minutes already. We've got to kind of start wrapping it up soon, eh? <laughs> so, harvesting updates. Um, I'm not going to read all that. You could, I'm going to... There's loads of... um. Right, like, lists and things that I'm not going to, like, force you to listen to, because it would be a lot. 
So harvesting updates, I'll read the small paragraph, which is the entry limits to the harvesting, area, harvesting areas have now been removed and no entry pass is required. All required elements can be obtained from the harvesting area. I don't really do that, so you know. So content requirements, this is what you can like look at yourself because there are so many and I'll, I'm not going to read them. And there's also like, there's that for content areas, temporary blocked. So there's different things that are blocked. So you can't really do that. The main ones that I picked out are things like um, the Aryan Col Coliseum, Monster Carnival, um, Mushroom Kingdom. So that ain't there at the moment. It's temporary blocked. So it's probably working on something. Um, the Florina Beach themed dungeon and part of the linear forest so there's more but that's all i'm going to read out content level adjustments so lord barlong is now minimum level 65 maximum level 100 so we're going to get that in pretty soon otherwise i'm just going to miss the opportunity to get that in for you guys um so they they, they repeat lord barlong on there i don't know why Monster Park minimum level is now a hundred plus, but remember it's blocked at the moment. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not. That's Monster Carnival that's blocked. Don't worry about that. And Silent Crusade is now level nineteen minimum. Um, so Circums, Sarkums, whatever you say, I don't, I don't really know that. Pre quests, so you've got to do a quest before. All Circum modes are now accessible via party. The requirement to complete, comp complete the Circums pre quest has been removed. Instead, players can now obtain a shard of fire from NPC Abdul. Why do they do really names? Really weird names. Adabis, before making their way to the altar. You can now have a limit of two clearance daily, regardless of which circum mode you participate in. Circum clearance count will restart at midnight every single day. Lord Barlong updates. Level requirements for Lord Barlong. I've just read about that, so you don't need to worry about that. Previous nerfed abilities can now be used alongside with new skill with all skills. Lord Barlong's attack that reduces HP to one has been removed. That is brilliant because that was one that I absolutely hated because you just had to keep spamming your health button. And it was annoying. Party matching. A party invite will appear when entering a map with another character similar level range. Other changes. So more than 999 ability points can be invested in strength, dex, int, and luck. Gold Beach world map has been added. The drop rate has been lowered. Monsters will have a higher chance of dropping items that can be worn by your class, which is good because it means we're going to see more Hayoshi stuff. Various quests go added, changed in the Pyrian excavation site. That doesn't occur to me, but it might occur to you, so... On Victoria Island, the Dimension Mirror is only available in Hennessy's. That's the only place I've used it anyway. So, there's Silent Crusade. Not really going to bother about reading that to you. So, last but not least is skill changes. Various classes have received changes. I don't think KO2 is one of these. I know I looked at a list, but I don't know where that list is anymore. So, don't worry. I ain't going to bore you with that. So, if your class slightly changed, here's why. Due to the monsters getting stronger and harder to defeat, we wanted to defeating monsters to be more of a challenge. To accomplish various skills were changed. Various skills were buffed as well to increase character balance. So, it's a totally different game. But like Call of Duty, when they nerf and buff guns, they're doing the exact same just to make the game more challenging and make it less like overpower your character overpowered so hey you two if it isn't here it's not probably not going to be that overpowered anymore at the moment it is very overpowered so in a way i wouldn't mind it if they nerf the hey you two a little bit but and then we're going to have a challenge on our hands guys so this has been like a 15 minute video or 14 minute and a half or a bit longer i'm looking at the timing so i hope you enjoyed the gameplay i hope you enjoyed well i hope you took some like this helped you in any way of wondering what this update was i want to do this each time so part two will be coming up coming out hopefully quite soon because this is only part one um 
guys. I've been Golden Monkey. This has been Monkey Samurai. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. And for now, guys, bye-bye.